Hello, my name is Molly Giannis and I'm the founder of Echo Consulting. And today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite features with Airtable. Now, Echo Consulting loves to focus on what we call the you know, project management or PMO. So basically this concept that work get identified, there's projects, there's initiatives, there's process improvement ideas, and we want to identify all that new work. We want to prioritize and approve and then execute on it and have transparency and visibility across what everyone's working on and why they're working on and be able to close out and get the maximum return on investment for your projects. Today with Airtable, I'm going to show how you can use this tool to dynamically populate a drop down. So basically you can have a table, feels like a, you know, like a grid, like a sheet. You might be familiar with Excel or Google Sheets or something like that. In this case, Airtable is grouped and they've grouped it by category. You can see that it's grouped up here. There's no filters in here right now. So this table is, and, and I actually thank you Zapier. Um, we use Zapier as a third party integrator um, with a lot of our different tools. At Echo, we call ourselves tech agnostic. So basically we love to work with any low code, no code tool to really get results for our clients and the teams we work with. So in this case, I just stole, not stole, borrowed Clear's project management app sheet. So you can see a lot of the different systems that we actually love to implement here. And they're maintaining it and they're providing some basic information about the app and what type of app or category, some of the learning material, and then some descriptions and things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a new table. I'll start from scratch. So I'm just going to get a blank table. And I'm gonna think about some of the features that I'm used to seeing in a PMO, right? Or some of the functionality that I would use if I'm helping a client um, decide on what tool is right for them because it can be overwhelming. As you saw from that list, there's so many different tools and you really need to think about, hey, what are those key requirements, key functionality that we need in order to be able to manage our work? And so in this case, I'll just call it a feature table, right? I want to be able to pull in information from the app so I can say which apps have this feature. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll add a feature. So one of the features that we look at for a uh, PMO system, right, is the ability to have a roll up or portfolio dashboard, right? So this is a key feature. I wanna be able to look across all the different projects, all the different teams and things like that and have a portfolio dashboard, a roll up across everything dashboard. Another key piece of functionality we're oftentimes looking for whether there is resource forecasting, right, planning, of the other key features that we're looking for um, is the ability, you know, automations for approval and review processes. There's, you know, there's some, some key functionality that we're looking for, right? So I want to be able to say which of these apps I think has this feature. And so where this is, this data table is really thinking about each different app is a, is a row and they have a very high level description. In this, I'm actually looking at it from a different perspective, right? I'm gonna say, hey, these are all the features that I'm expecting and I wanna know which of these apps has this feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a new column and I'm gonna link it to another record. So I'm gonna link to another record. And in this case, I'm gonna link it to the app table that I have up here. So I'm gonna click on app table. And you can see that I have a couple of different um, options here. So the most common one is allow linking to multiple records. So that's saying I'm not just picking one app, I can have multi-select. Possible that instead of wanting to have all of the items in the apps, I would wanna link it to a view, which is basically like a filter table but in this case I want all the apps that are in that, that table I can also filter the record selection by a condition so if I wanted to say hey I only want to look at uh, Kanban projects or something like that other piece is we recently upgraded to have some of the AI functionality that uh, Airtable offers it's new you can kind of see when Airtable that there's this new feature we love this interested in Airtable we'll be doing some uh, more videos on some of these new f features that are rolling out several of our different platforms that we implement Smartsheet, Monday, a ClickUp, all of them have new AI features um, and they're at various um, levels of maturity. But anyways, AI, you can do this here. So I'm going to give the name and I'm going to say app 
right? Uh, list maybe is what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to create the field. And then when I create the lookup field, it's going to tell me which fields to pull in from. So I want to pull in from the name, but I also like that's going to already pull down my drop down. This is saying what other columns in this table do I want to bring in? So it really becomes this relational database, this ability to pull in other information. So I'm managing the data and the apps list, but I'm going to pull in the information that I need. So for example, if I wanted um, to pull in, for example, the category or the overview or something like that, I could. Um, because I'm doing this as a multi-select, I'm actually not going to do this um, now. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this and not add additional lookup fields. So now I have this app list. You can see from here that I have a, as the icon of a list. And so what I'm going to do is say, okay, what has a roll up portfolio dashboard? And when I go ahead and click plus, look at how awesome this looks, right? Not only is it populating this column based on this table, so it's dynamic. So if I update this here, I can do this. It's even giving me the images and everything like that from the screen. So I just love this and I absolutely love the search feature because there are 40 different platforms that we might analyze when we're looking at different work management platforms. Um, I know that I can quickly just type in Smartsheet, for example, and I can click on Smartsheet. I have the ability here to do multiples. So I can give here a portfolio dashboard. Uh, Monday has that. Um, oh, it looks like Monday.com is not on here, right? I can create Monday.com, but let's look at ClickUp, for example, instead. Um, so there's a lot of different options um, as I go ahead and add this. I know that Microsoft Project has it, for example, can kind of pull this out um, and link to another record. So I can actually pop this out if I want to, to make it bigger. And I can kind of look across. Does that make sense to everyone? So again, one of my favorite features in here is the ability to populate a dropdown, populate a column based on another table. Now, in um, in Airtable right now, we are using, I think they're called the business or the team licensing. So that means I can have 10 tables in this single base. And if you go up to that next level, you have a lot more. So we're we're using kind of that, uh, using the free one, we're using the team one, which is one up. That's where we've been kind of solutioning for our small um, to mid-sized clients and then definitely more enterprise sales starter for ones. So anyways, thank you again. My name is Molly Giannis and uh, I am the founder and CEO of Echo Consulting. We believe that all teams deserve access to high quality project management solutions. We are vendor agnostic, what we call software agnostic. We love all sorts of different tools and it's really narrowing down what tool fits the culture and is can be tailored to your workflow. Um, so if you're looking for support on that, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and if you're looking for more, we're going to be doing a lot more videos on Airtable in the coming weeks. So please subscribe to our channel and uh, join us as we um, look to embrace that power of project management um, tools and work management tools. Thanks again.